Hello everybody, Wayne from One on One Animation and uh, somebody had asked me about animal drawings. Uh, I want to first just say that it's the same approach. I use the same approach as when I'm drawing the figure. Um, I just, I think of shapes and forms, the gesture, uh, 30 second poses. Try to just get the gesture in there. You don't have much time. Uh, up here, you can see uh, these are all 30 second poses and I will be doing more of those uh, a little bit later on just to show you how I go about it. Um, and But what I mainly think is just of, you know, the shapes, the gesture, uh, the the certain things that make uh, the identity of the particular animal I'm drawing uh, you know the the horse what tells it is this big torso uh, and then we come over to a rabbit up here although I will say now it looks more like a rabbit <laughs> uh, and just all sorts of things but I'll do demonstrations of that so the the thing is is once again you want to get those shapes the forms the gestures and then when you go to do the you know longer poses one minutes two minutes or five minutes which is much longer uh i just slow down a little bit but uh let me let me show you something here i can't remember exactly i think these were about uh two minutes I would guess somewhere around there but then again just working on uh, you know getting the the movement in there so enough of me talking here let me uh, start doing some demonstrations for you Okay, so what I have here, uh, I'm working on sketchbook with sketchbook here, and I pulled up this site. Uh, it's a site that just uh, I just found some animals on it, and here we'll go. We'll we'll just start off here. We got this fox, and I'll try to as I'm drawing, I'm gonna try to explain when I'm doing these thirty second poses. Okay, we'll just start up here. Okay, what what I first see is that big shape coming there. That that's the torso coming back there. I know I don't have much time, so I got to get this down quickly. And it's a fox, so I know the fox had big ears. Come down, and I'm not so worried because I might just like. With the human figure, I might not, and I'm going to put the tail in very quickly here. And now we got this, some kind of lizard looking thing. And I'll just draw that big shape in. And draw the eyes in quickly, thinking rhythms coming in there. And I'll draw over the other, um, like I said, before this is all warm up then I'll flush it out a little bit more now look some of the drawings they get cut off here so it's it's hard to tell what they are and what I usually do on those I just wait and wait for a better pose I mean it's a bat but it, you can't see the full figure in there and what I'll do bring them down wait for the next pose all right here we go now we're back to I'm just gonna pick this dog coming down I'm feeling this rhythm right there with the shapes I'm feeling it. got a pug nose there's that gesture the leg this one back there and this is coming up over there's the rhythm of that leg rhythm of the far leg and a little tail right there and if I got the time I'll put in a little bit more 
This is interesting. This one just straight on. I'm gonna draw this big face. Growl him at us, put in some teeth, put in some teeth some more. And here's that long rhythm right there. And then I'll just make him look angry. That might be all the time I get right there. And I'm not worried about it. I'm not worried if it's coming out just right. Now on this squirrel, it's a foreshortening shot. So I'm thinking about how the head is placing down on his body there. There's the leg, the tail. And he's got, I'm just gonna put in these little arms right there, eyes, he's got little ears. That was about all the time I had right there. This bear, big shape, big shape right there. Come in, head, gesture of this foot coming in, leg coming up in there, he's got this big, and we just see the other side of the foot, cat. shape of the body that's about all the time I got there's my cat there's a I think that's a barracuda and look this one I mean it's a torpedo basically there's the gesture of that face right there, eyes, eyes. Now I'll just hint the fins right there. I'll just stop right there and this all just warm up still. Let's go to another. Here's a, I don't know what this is. Rhythm there comes off there, rhythm under there, eye, got that, front of the face, and then put in the legs very quickly, right there. And even animals, if I don't know what they are, I think in the same way. Here, here, this is very bizarre, it's a bird obviously, but I'm just trying to feel the gesture of this big wing coming out. I can see the tail coming there, and there's the feet right there. Put in another one. That's probably going to be all the time I get. Cat looking up at us, and look, this is a strange angle right here, but what I'm thinking about is the shape still. And there's the rhythm of that paw swinging around that way, right there, and there's some body back there. Nose. And here's the eyes all the time I had. Same thing insects, I think of those big shapes, breaks off there, comes there. Weird looking insect. That's going to be all the time I get. Let's say I want to just, I want to get both of these in there. I know I'm not going to have time to get them both in a rendered type of fashion. But if I want to try to get that gesture, and it's going to cut off here soon. 
and there's that big part there. That's all the time I had for putting in these two big bears. And what I thought about, we'll go back to that later, but let's, let me talk about this a little bit. What I thought about here, let me pause this. What I thought when I was working on this, I was just thinking of the energy. And now I can go back in. I remember what was going on. If I want to clarify it a little bit more, I just come back in and clarify the shapes and start to think about the body swinging around. And I think I, when I initially did this, I thought of the entire big shape of the two of them fighting. And there, I'll just leave it at that. And then I can go back in if I want, out of my imagination, and try to figure out these forms more clearly and just take my time but at least what I got here was the gesture and I knew they were fine so I'll put in an angry little gesture there and that's a, what I do a lot and it's really good to go back in to your quick gesture drawings and try to uh, surmise what where the real uh, uh, articulation of the um, gesture, the forces, the rhythm lines, and try to make, and then go in and try to make a drawing like this cohesive where it looks like it's all unified. Um, and how you do that, when you go back in, you think about everything I've always talked about, but you just slow down and you, and you s try to see the rhythms of different lines you're drawing through and how they work into each other. Like right here, I could create, I'm thinking of the rhythm of this area. This line follows through all the way to the other bear's line. And then here is perspective. I know there's some perspective. So here's the ground plane and it makes them look three dimensional and then you put in those overlapping lines of this rear leg that would overlap the body torso of the this bear right there. And you just continue on and analyze. Again, that's why it's so important when I'm always talking about using uh, those basic uh, forms like uh, boxes, uh, balls, cylinders, all that sort of stuff because it's all in here. It might be uh, warped or d d uh, abstract a little bit, but that's all right. You know, that's what they are. That That is part of it. So, all right, let's get back to doing some more here. Let me... There we got this bird, very basic shape, shape, gesture for the beak, shape, shape, gesture for, and then I can come in, if I got time, I can come in and put, turn them more into forms. Let's leave it at that. Put a little eye on there. Eyes are always good to put in in the gestures. It gives us some sense of uh, direction of where the animal's looking. Um, oh, sorry. It paused on me. Let me go to the next one. Okay. thought that was a long pose. Uh, okay, we got an owl here. Big shape right there, very big.
right here. I can just stop right there. I'll remember this is an owl right there, Fluffy. And I would just leave, I could just leave it right there. Okay, we got the ostrich. I'm gonna draw a little smaller here. Shape up there. Rhythmic line coming up, around. Little head up there. Long legs. And there I, I put in ostrich real quick. I sometimes start at the head. I sometimes start with the torso. It just matters when I'm looking at the subject. I'll just do it in different ways. And there's that ryth rhythmic line gesture for the pause. And there we go. Let's say head of tail. Down shot. So what I'm thinking here very quickly is this box we're looking down upon. And there's the head. Legs always come up in there. Don't have much time. Tail. And we can see, and there I just got a quick gesture of it. Let me, I'm gonna go to another one. Turn this off. Say we only had. That's it. It's gonna turn on me, so I'll stop right there. The shape, I'm thinking of the shape of the squirrel coming up. Rhythm lines, there. Tails coming around like so. And he's up on a tree. Okay, I'll do one more. Again. Got the shape, gesture of the tail coming down there. Beautiful S curve right there. Looking down slightly. And we'll just stop there. These, okay, so these were all 30 second poses. Um, sorry, just stop. <laughs> um, 30 second poses. And with that, that those are warm ups right there. Understand that those are warm-ups. They're, they're just to get your arm moving, your drawing from your shoulder. Oh, sorry. You're drawing from your shoulder, and sometimes you're drawing from, like, from your wrist or your elbow, but for the most part, you want to try to get that whole motion in there. But with drawing animals... You can see my basic approach is just like when I'm drawing the human figure. It's really the way I, I draw everything. Um, it just, it's made up of those shapes and forms and you just wanna get them down quickly. And what you wanna do is you want to look for those those forms or those the gesture the energy the force of what makes that pose let's say for instance let's go to this one i remember it was a i think it was a puppy or something and uh or a little pug dog and what i saw i'm going to come back into it 
he was sort of playing around. Here, I'll put a smile on him. He was playing around. And what I saw was he had his head down there, and that this was the line that was conveying. He was in his playful mood, crouching down, and then he had his shoulders coming down. Here's the rhythm lines right here, connecting right there. Paws down, and then he had his rear leg there that was spread out a little bit, and he was going away from us. I'll put a little tail on him, and he was going away from us. And I'm looking for those important lines that will describe the pose in the simplest way. For instance, this was a long flowing rhythmic line that came around and it described the squirrel that was up on a tree right there. Same thing with this goose. It had this long rhythmic line coming around there. I started off with the shape of the body right there and then I, I found these lines that would describe the animal and the pose. So that's what you really want to look for when you're doing um, your 30 second poses of all the animals. We'll do a, a recap here. So there was that one. Let me go over here. Uh, same thing here. Big flowing line there. You can see where I was just focusing on the weight there. On this one, you notice how quickly I put in that box when I put that in there. It was very important on that pose because it was a strong down position. And we were looking down on the animal. And then this owl I put in and I sort of had fun with this. I just put in that big shape with the eyes and left it at that. Same thing here with, I can come in now and if I want to make it flush flush it out a little bit more that's fine and come in put in those rhythmic lines but I got the essence of the pose all same thing with the bird uh, with all of them you can see like on this this cat where it was a down shot on the cat and I had to figure if I'm coming back in I had to figure what I was thinking as I was doing it I knew it was foreshortening, and there was this ball back there, another ball for the head on top, and the paws were out here. Now I'd go in, you can see where I'm coming in, and I'm just flushing it out a little bit, making all the forms connect more, but I, I wouldn't go into much more than that, I'd just leave it at that. The same thing with the insects, this big gesture, I was trying to capture that, that feeling of the wings as they were, looks like the bird was like fly, flying down, about to land or something, that's what I was imagining. And then with the bears, we went over that and I showed you how I put in those big rhythmic lines and the big shapes of two bears and that's where Sometimes people will, if they see two animals that are interlaced like so, they'll think, oh, it's going to be twice as long to have to draw it. Well, it, it won't be if you look at both of the animals as uh, shapes and forms when you first look at it. And so you just put it down as quickly as you can. Really important to remember is if the drawings aren't you know that you look at them and you you're worried about it don't worry about it just go to the next pose like I was doing here just go to it and just keep going keep going it will I promise you it will get easier and easier and you're going to be able to see those big shapes and forms if you stop while you're doing it and you only get part of it done that's okay that's all right the whole idea of this is just to go forward and train yourself in this visual language, train yourself to be able to 
see those big gestural lines. That's the only way you're going to be able to do it. If you stop and start uh, noodling on it or trying to render it, uh, it's going to kill the whole point of doing these quick poses. Okay, so here's part two now. And what we're going to do is five minute poses. And all we're going to do is slow down. We're going to think in the same way, but just slow down and make the drawings a little more accurate. But uh, it's just going to be a matter of just slowing down and focusing on the different forms and shapes. So I'll take, we'll take this little guy. He's, uh, there he goes. And let me, so line of action there. And what I'm thinking about here is the shape of the torso, neck, and the gesture right there. Gesture of his Pause. Coming up here. Always remember in the animals, this is where this leg, the legs off of a, a mammal, they're up here tied in up into the torso. And then I'll just put in some gesture lines showing gesture of that rear leg. And then to get a nice smooth rhythmic flow, here's how I'm gonna handle the tail. Come off there, S curve comes off like so. And then I'll just build the shapes and forms on top of it. And now I'm thinking about overlapping lines. Bring this down a little bit more. Shoulders up here. Overlapping line right there. The neck is coming out. And here's the cranium. His nose. Flowing line of the ear coming off that direction. Flush that out, overlapping line. And pretty much just leave it like that. I'm gonna choose now to give it a little more dimension. I'm just gonna show that rear leg but I want to make this front leg a little more defined. So I pretty much just stop right there. Uh, we got more time, but that, 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 that's how I'd go about it. Make sure that this negative space right in here between his, his head and the paws right there, make sure that that's clear because we got more time. And we'll just come back over here and go to the next one. And we got some sort of animal. <laughs> I'm sorry, I just, I don't know the names of all the animals. Put that up there. Um, here's line of action. I see it's right there. Off that line of action. Looking torso. Head. And I'll just put a straight line right there. That will describe to me exactly where the, the angle of the head is. And there's the eye line right there. Now I'll continue going up here. 
again this area where the leg is tied in that's going to be overlapping and what we have is the leg is coming forward bends at the knee there there's my gesture I want to make sure I keep everything on the same plane here's the gesture for that front leg the, and the one is closest to us gesture of the other front legs coming way back there gesture of the rear leg and then what I want to do is I want to figure out what's the rhythmic line of this long tail coming up so I'm just going to put it right back there Try to draw from your shoulder, ties in there, and now what I'm doing is I'm putting in those overlapping lines off of the sketch that I put in. Again, I'm not going to worry so much about all these little details right there. If I was going to spend an hour, half hour on it. I would still approach it in the same way and here I want to convey that overlapping line of the head jaw there's the skull the form in front is the ear put in the shape of the nose and I know just from drawing that this form right here, the forearm of the leg, there's two. There's this part of the leg, this part of the leg. So I'm going to make sure that I define that. This is just put in the. These are just five minute poses. This is something that's very distinct about this animal, it has these stripes in here. And now just take a look at it, try to get those rhythm lines flow, working into one another. Bring this, I'm going to bring this foot down just slightly because I want to make sure it feels like he's on that separate plane, he or she. And I would just stop right about there. So you can see, I start off with in the same manner. I just slow down and... flush out the drawing a bit more and look for where the shoulders will be here, this leg. Actually, I'm looking at it. He has this form that goes in there. I don't really understand it, so I'm just going to put it in as well as I can. I don't know the anatomy of this particular animal, but it really doesn't matter if you're just doing animal sketches. Here we got this frog. That's my line of action. And here I'm thinking about this form. There's the form of his body right there. And I put in some surface lines, helps me to understand it. And I think about the form of the head fitting on top of there. And what makes this a particular frog so distinct these big shapes which are the eyes 
I think of the rhythm of the eyes, constructing them, and this overlapping form of the eyelid going over his other eye, and then I'll follow this center point going through his spine right there to his nose end of his face now I'll get into gesture of his leg thinking rhythmically how this back here connects I want to make sure that it all looks unified. The knee up here. And he's, he or she has got some long legs. And now I'm going to break them in to forms. Elbow. Arm comes out that way overlapping line there and makes it very distinct those webbed feet I look for the placement of where those feet are comes over here and over here it shows a little bit of the elbow over right there of the other arm so what I'll do is I'll just come up there and it gives me the landmark where it lines up rhythmically. I want to show that leg really pinching in there so I made that more distinct and as we can see it's a down shot see a little bit of the web of his other foot there so I'll just draw through it and then flush it out right there and I'll even add another one just to make it a little clearer and I'll stop there also realize again it's a down shot of the frog and we're looking down on it, and if it helps you out, just draw in a grid behind the, the, the frog, and or whatever animal you're drawing, and just draw that grid in, and it will help, help you to place it on a solid surface. And I'll do that sometimes. I will do that in the very beginning. Uh, other times I do it just like just now. I'll do it later on. Uh, it just it, it always varies for me also always put in if you have an animal this an, the the little fox here who's uh, jumping up in the air you could put a cast shadow down there just to show the distance between the ground and the the animal or the figure that you're drawing so we'll go over Okay, horses. <laughs> horses. I've always had nightmares with horses, but it's the same principle. So I'm going to slow down here. This line right there is this. I, this is what's sticking out to me, is that force of that big shoulder there. Move this out of the way. And I'm just going to start to put in, I, I should have put in the big gesture line, and I'm going to break this down into simple forms. There's his, his big body, big torso. Comes up like so. And now I'm just going to, off of that, I'm going to start thinking of the gesture, rhythm lines coming up here, rhythm line of the leg is just coming down like so, a little bit more back like that. Here's my ground plane. 
pretty straight legs. There's the far leg right there. And then this big cylinder is what I'm thinking shape. But I'm thinking cylinder two of the neck, that big neck coming up. I'll draw the skull in. And understand, I don't know the the anatomy of, of a horse. I, I try to study it. Uh, someone who's great at knowing the anatomy of animals and human beings, Aaron Blaze, uh, I highly recommend you guys to, if, if you can afford it, download or buy his his videos he is incredible the knowledge he has of animals cats horses everything i mean it's just great okay now we'll get back to this what i'm looking at here is this is where the joints are i want those joints to be rhythmic so i know if i come down here what well, is your time I'm running i gotta hurry up here I, I, I want those joints to look rhythmically in place. So I just draw those lines and then I'll come down here and I already got, because I drew that line, I knew where they lined up and now I'll draw the hooves and there's even another joint down there. And move that one up, another joint there. And there's that, this big shoulder that's sticking out there, big torso. And back here, I'm thinking of, I actually made this too long. I gotta bring everything in that direction a little bit. So what I do is I just move everything forward that way. And here's what I would call the rear hip and then the tail comes down like so, which is helping to describe the v which direction we're looking at the horse. And then I got this rhythmic line of the horse's leg coming there. And again, this is where it comes up in there, overlap a joint, there'll be a joint down here. There's that leg, and this one we really don't see. And what's helping to describe it is this box shape. And now we're running out of time, I gotta put the mane on. And there I did a, not too good a job, but. Drawing of a horse. Bring that belly down here. just stop there okay so now we got a hippo all I'm gonna do is think of the big shapes again ground plane areas big oval is what I see when I look at this hippo, I'm seeing these round, big shapes. Leg gesture. Leg gesture. I look at the negative space in there so I can know where to start to put that face. center line I 
guys lining up there. I'll use straight with curves, center line, and those. Very distinct in this in hippos is that eye bone coming around there. And they got these tiny little ears. This is overlapping right there where the neck comes into the torso. And you just see a pinch right there where that rear leg is. Construction of animals, it's like humans, but we got that extra joint there on him. I'm just going to draw the shape, but I'm aware of it coming up in there. I know that animals, they got this the big shoulder here, it's going to come off there, even though it's not defined in our reference there. I just know that. That's why uh, you want to check out Aaron Blaze. <laughs> he explains it all. But I know that uh, it's broken up, is what I'm trying to say. You got these different joints in there, which breaks it up. If I'm going to do it circular, it goes in there, and then you got that different joint there. I'm going to show, doesn't really show it in the reference, but I'm going to show that rear leg more so there. And then I'm just going to tie it in there. And if the drawing's not, you know, completely, I go back and forth. I'm looking at... Uh, my reference of the hippo and I can see you know I wasn't totally accurate in certain parts but I'm not gonna worry about it like I said it's just to sharpen your eye and it just gets easier and easier it's got these big folds in there and I would just really I think I went too far I should have left it alone a while ago but I'd stop right about there and just leave it be right there okay um, I'm not using the full five minutes uh, if I get it done beforehand um, great I can just move on to the next one sorry hippo getting turned around there and I'll do one more Okay, here we got this German Shepherd. Let me give myself a little more room here. Okay, on this one. It's a down shot. First thing I'm going to think about is there's the line of action basically and I'm gonna box him in this is how I do it if it's a, a down shot with foreshortening I will start off with those basic forms like so and off of that I will start to build the construction off of it now, off of that, I will start to put in gestural forms of a neck and then the overlapping of his head coming down. I will imply that plane right there. Throw in some lines to describe the angle of the face. And then off here, the legs are coming back. And here's his rib cage. Notice I'm drawing inside 
of that original box. And then right here is the rear. There's it's his torso and then the hips are coming in there. Swinging out with that leg. Because I know the angle that we're drawing in. Come off the center and the rhythmic line of his tail or her tail. Coming off there. We just see a little bit of that foot. Get back to the front. You can see how this, from over here, the rear paw, I draw a straight line to the front paw. So I'll do that. I can see that. That's what you want to train yourself to be able to see that automatically. And that is where those quick sketches really come in handy. Okay. And then I see negative space of where that front paw is. Let me just see a little bit of it. Now I'm just going to define it. Here, wraps around. He's got a lot of flesh and fur right there. I will show, even though we can't see it really in the photo, I'm going to show that other ear because it will help me to describe the angle better. And right around here I'll just start to, because my time is running out, flush it out a little bit more. And I'll just stop right there. And understand that these, what I think of these as is studies, more than anything else. I, I think of them as studies. Just so I can get an idea. Like if I'm just starting to draw animals that I don't know, this is how I will start off. Just putting these in there and then what I'll do is I will go in and start to really figure out more of the, the nuances of that particular animal of how they um, you know how they're constructed so if you were doing a giraffe compared to a wolf or a dog or a hippo it's it's going to be different as far as the, the the sizes of those shapes and forms. But understand that uh, it's still the, the same uh, anatomical structure in a sense as a human being. It's just those shapes and forms are much longer or shorter. The legs of a hippo are much squattier than one of a giraffe. You know, you, if you got a giraffe, let's say, I'm trying to remember. First of all, we know they got this long neck like so, but the legs, you know, they're extremely long. Right there, that's pretty much lets everyone know we're looking at a giraffe in a very simplified way but they're much longer, so the proportions are much more different. But it will still be, when you go to the construction, you're understanding the anatomy of the giraffe with the, the front leg, then it breaks off there, and then it comes down there, and there's another joint there at the uh, bottom of the foot. It's really no different than the hippos or, the, um, or dogs. 
or a cat's or this uh, monkey so uh, I hope that helps and uh, thank you for watching and bye bye